Good morning YouTube family. This is Dewey down in Nashville and today I'm going to be building a raised bed incorporating a uh, self-irrigating planter technique to it. I got the idea kind of brainstorming. Um, the main idea comes from Larry Halls. I'll put his uh, YouTube channel down below. Larry Halls uh, rain gutter grow system and what he does with that is uh, uses a rain gutter in between some 2 by 4s uh, fills it up with water and puts buckets with a net cup on the bottom of them if you're not familiar with a net cup it's just basically a almost like a kitchen sink strainer but it's a, a formal rendition of it used for hydroponics he puts a net cup on the out the bottom of the bucket and sits it on top of the rain gutter the net cup sits in the water in the gutter and pulls water into the soil that's in the bucket which feeds the plant. Uh, so through a little bit of brainstorming and, and some ideas spurred by, on by other of his followers, uh, I went, that's I came up with, invented, whatever. We're going to give it a shot, see if it actually works, but I came up with a, a way to do a raised bed and put net cups in it and have one giant uh, gutter underneath that's a, really a water reservoir. So uh, I'm going to show you what tools you're going to need. Uh, first off, you're going to need a site to put the system. It's going to be a, mine's going to be a 4x8. You could do a 4x4. Four four. There's really no rhyme or reason to what you can do. It's just whatever you want to do. I'm using a 4x8 system because I'm going to have a floor on the bottom of the soil level that's plywood and plywood comes in 4x8 sections. So it just seems logical to do a 4x8 bed. Alright, first things first. Let me make sure this thing's good and focused. Uh, I have four 2x4s underneath the PVC. Really you're only going to need three. I bought four. I like an extra one just in case I screw up a cut. Um, we're going to have some running commentary from my friend Jacob, one of our kitties. So if you hear him in the background, sorry. He's just wanting to get on camera. Um, so I have four 2x4s by 8s that are pressure treated. And before we go off, um, for all you environmentalists go off on, you don't want to put a garden in a pressure treated thing. These are ACQ pressure treated, which is uh, alkaline copper quat. The uh, pressure treating that raised the big stink several years back was, I think, CAA or CCA, and the last A standard for arsenic. These don't have arsenic in it, so I've done my research. Pressure treating is okay as long as it's ACQ treated. So these four are pressure treated 2x4s, 8 feet long. Um, this is six 2x6s, pressure treated 8 feet long, uh, same, same principle. You're going to split two of the 2x6s and one of the 2x4s into 4 foot sections because uh, it's going to be a 4x8 so the the 4 foot sections will be on the ends, the 8 foot pieces the full pieces will be on the width. Um, also going to need some PVC you're actually going to need two end caps, I only bought one, I, I came up with something another modification that, uh, later after I'd already made my purchase so you'll need uh, an end cap. Not sure what the number is on there. Uh, I got this at Lowe's. It may be a pr uh, product number. And then following that to the end, other side, you're going to need a... I got a T. You could also get an elbow. Just something because this is going to sit square down into the um, water, water reservoir. You're going to use this to penetrate the soil level. So if you wanted to add nutrients directly to the water to be absorbed hydroponically if you want to use the the phrase um, you can do that directly through the pipe and if you just leave the the naked edge of the pipe it's going to get jammed down on the bottom so you'll need an elbow to go from the bottom instead of it going straight into the soil it'll come out some other end the tea was actually like a buck cheaper uh, it was like 40 cents for a tea or a buck 50 for a elbow so me being the raw accountant I am, decided to go with the T. Both will do the same thing. You're going to need, I'm going to use about 10 bricks. There's other ways. Uh, the bricks are going to sit in the water reservoir to hold the plywood up. And there's my, my producer, Jacob, coming back when I have to move him. Uh, the bricks are going to sit in the bottom of the reservoir and uh, hold the, 
give the plywood some support in the middle of the water chamber. Uh, you'll need a 4x8 pressure treated piece of plywood. You can use half inch or three quarter. I don't think it's going to make a difference. This is half inch. Uh, because we're supporting it, uh, I don't think the thickness is going to matter. Uh, you'll need a chalk line, or I'm going to use a chalk line. You can use whatever if you wanted to just use a straight edge and, and a pencil. Um, this is going to be used to mark where the net cups go in the two by, or excuse me, the uh, plywood. You'll need three inch net cups. This is what I was telling you about. Let me pull one off. Um, let me get it to focus. There we are. Um, these will sit in the plywood. Soil will go in the cup, and um, that's going to help the water wick up into the soil. So you'll need about 11 of those. Let me move my producer. Um, he'll probably be back. Uh, you'll need a hole saw bit. Um, my hole saw bit is two and three quarter. Uh, it was the easiest to find. You can use a two and seven eighths, um, or depending on the net pot you get, you can use a three inch. Um, you'll need black plastic. Uh, I, I would think six mil would be better than four mil. You get the, the thicker uh, version. They only had black at Lowe's. You can get clear, whatever, but um, you'll need a uh, box cutter to cut it and a staple gun to keep it up once you lay it down in the water reservoir. This is going to keep water from just coming out your hose and going right into the ground. We want it to be a reservoir for the net cups to, to hang in to pull the water out. I'm um, getting some landscaping stakes here. Um, you probably don't need these, but I'm going to use them. Once I put the frame of the reservoir down, I'm going to use these to hold. You know, to, They'll go in the ground and they'll sit up probably about four to six inches, cut off any excess. And then they're going to give the frame a little bit more structural support. And also they're going to be on the inside right around the frame uh, of the reservoir to hold, give the plywood a little bit extra. Because it's only going to have about a three quarter inch grip. Uh, it's gonna, just going to lay on top of the reservoir frame. And we'll, uh, you'll be able to see that more later. Uh, here's a level, whatever size. Just something that you can use to level out the ground. Um, you probably don't need these. I'm going to use them. These are um, the PVC clips. They're going to hold the PVC to the edge of the uh, 2x4s and 2x6s so it doesn't move while you're doing the rest of the installation. And these are mending plates. Oops, excuse me. Mending braces. They come in a four pack. Uh, these are going to go on the inside because you're going to have two layers of 2x6s and these are going to hold those two layers together for your soil container. Um, you'll need some way to cut PVC. I just got a PVC pipe cutter. You could use a jigsaw. If you wanted to take a risk with your fingers, you could use a circular saw or whatever other kind of saw you want to. Just something to cut PVC with. Uh, you're going to need drill bits because um, the float system is not going to go through all the way through a 2x4. So you'll have to kind of drill out to, to drill through enough so that the float can latch on well enough to the um, to the side of the water reservoir. You'll need a, uh, a drill, circular saw to cut 2 by 4s You, you could probably do without this, just get them cut at the lumber store when you go. I uh, didn't, so you'll need that. I'll need that. Uh, tape measure, uh, square, make sure everything squares up right. Pencil to mark things. Um, you'll need screws to hold everything together. I have 3 inch screws. And make sure they're exterior so they won't rust. You could use two and a half, two and three quarters, just something that's going to go through a two by four or a two by six that will hold it together. So I just had some extra three inch screws laying around, and uh, so that's what I'm using. I don't know if I'll need the vice grips, but I brought them out in case I did. Uh, here is the float components that I'm going to use. Um, not sure I, that I know exactly what this is. This goes on the end of a garden hose. And um, this is an adapter. I think that's a half inch uh, MIP. No, F FIP. Uh, this is a half inch MIP to a quarter inch barbed. And this will go either around here into the, the um, pipe there. 
And then here's a float valve. I got this on Amazon. I think U.S. Plastics is cheaper per piece, but you got to pay for shipping. And so Amazon, I'm a Prime member. I can get free shipping, no tax kind of thing. So uh, this is an adjustable float valve. I recommend that versus the fixed arm because fixed arm, once you put it, if you put it in the wrong place, you're screwed. So um, adjustable arm, and it's the barbed end. Let me uh, get that to focus. There you go, barbed end. And um, some clamps, these will go right around here once the pipe's on to kind of clamp it in, give it some more friction, keep prevent leaks. So um, you'll also need a mix for your soil. You can use whatever kind of mix you want. Larry Hall's got a one that uh, a mix that he uses in his uh, rain gutter system for the buckets. Uh, LDS Prepper also has a different kind of mix that he uses in his bucket system. So just kind of take your pick. Um, I'm probably going to use a, a Dewey mix, maybe. Uh, I don't know exactly. I got uh, nine cubic feet of peat moss. The soil reservoir is going to have about 30 cubic feet. So you'll need enough of a soil mixture to uh, fill 30 cubic feet. This is nine cubic feet of peat moss. I've got, I'm gonna be having eight cubic feet of vermiculite and then um, probably some compost in there and uh, mineral salts, Epsom salts, uh, fertilizers. So uh, we'll get to that soil when we come to it. But these are the building materials. I'll do one more pass over in case you didn't see something. Um, so these are, the, are your building materials and um, I'll get started and I'll come back once I've got the floor leveled and the water reservoir frame built, maybe plastic in so that you can kind of see it stage by stage because once this thing gets built it ain't coming apart. So uh, I'll be back in just a few.